What is up YouTube, it's Metatronics. I am playing some Search and Destroy with some subscribers. This game is about a week old. Um, I, uh, if you guys are in the video, say hello in the comments. <laughs> but uh, we were trolling the other team. We went Riot Shield and Sma. Uh The first round didn't go so good, but uh, everything uh, started picking up pretty quick. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, and uh, if you like, if you want to see some more trolling stuff, like the video, you know, make sure you share it with your friends and things. Because I gauge what the views and the shares and all that sort of stuff are. Uh, you know, if you guys want to see it more. So that's the deal. <laughs> Do it if you want to see more. Um, now you may be thinking, Riot Shield and Sma? How come you don't have a Riot Shield? Well, I wasn't high enough level, and so I uh, didn't have it unlocked, obviously, and so I went Riot, there's no, not Riot Shield, Sma, <laughs> and uh, and Knife. And I hope you guys enjoy, because I had a lot of fun, and this round in particular did pretty good. There's a couple of swipes there, <laughs> fails. Uh, and then to watch this guy walk into the room. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's like, uh... The I don't I don't know he's like a snake or spider or something just like don't notice me don't notice me I'm just hugging the wall no don't notice me <laughs> but uh, yeah ballistic knife is totally a good idea though for going uh, trolling people with especially if it's the enemy team's ballistic knife like that like I said that that should have been a headshot I think I, I haven't like slowed it down to see what uh, where that exactly that hit but it totally looks like it should have been a headshot. So, in these last few videos, I have been talking about things that are going on, and I couldn't tell you just yet what was happening, but uh, I am at a point now where I can give you a lot more detail, uh, kind of tell you what's going on, um, but I will definitely have some more stories here in the next couple of weeks about, uh, about some stuff. Well, so, uh, I have not been very satisfied with the current job I'm in. I, like, there were some weird things that were going on with the... Uh, well, yeah, I'll leave it at I was not a good fit for this company. And uh, I do front-end development, and I just did not feel that I was appreciated there. There was some just weirdness, and you'll hear stories about that in the next couple of weeks. But um, right now, suffice to say, I just wasn't a good fit. So I started looking for other jobs. Um, I had uh, one that I applied for, and after, like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of submitting my resume, I got a call back. And they were like, hey, do you guys, or not do you guys, do you want to do a phone interview with us today? And I was like, uh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, you're calling me back right now. Wow, all right, you know, so I uh, go and uh, talk to these people, and they were like, hey, we want to do an in person interview with you, so if you could come to where we are. Now, I live in Austin, uh, Austin, Texas, currently, and, uh, this company is in Dallas, Texas, and so that's about a three, three and a half hour drive, maybe four, depending on traffic and whatnot, but uh, it was, I mean, it's a bit of a drive. Well, so my wife and I do a little, uh, like, scheduling and rearranging, and so we're going to go stay with her parents in Fort Worth and uh, go to this company and do an interview, you know, because I was real hopeful. They sounded real positive, like they really liked me and everything. He said several times that uh, he thought I was in the lead. <laughs> I don't know what that guy thought he was doing. Apparently he's got a YouTube channel or something, uh, but he was doing some serious fails. Uh, I don't, I've not actually gone and looked at that guy's channel, but uh, it looks like it's all fails. <laughs> um, so uh, at the same time, I have a friend that has recommended me for another position at a different company. And this company has to be in Fort Worth and actually very close to where the in-laws live. Um, I talked to them, uh, and they were like, yeah, come in for an in-person. So that weekend, I had stuff scheduled, like a lot of stuff scheduled. And uh, so, yeah, we get there. I meet with the folks as soon as we get in town, the uh, Fort Worth folks. Um, I leave. They call me like 20 minutes after. <laughs> I was doing a little dance, doing the happy dance, waiting for the care package. War machine. Oh, yeah. Um, 20 minutes after I leave the interview, they give me another phone call like, Hey, you should come back tomorrow uh, before you have to leave Fort Worth and uh, come to another interview and meet the other business partner. And I was like, Oh, okay, well, I guess I can, you know, that works. Sure, why not? So I go out there um, and uh, they really, really like me and say like, Hey, we're going to have an offer in the works. You know, we're going to put something together and we'll contact you uh, sometime this next week which it would be this week. <laughs> and so I was really excited about that. And then I drove straight from there to Dallas, which is about an hour drive or so maybe, 
uh, from where I was in Fort Worth and uh, went and met with this other company. And it went really well, too. They really, really liked me. And he said in the interview, like, hey, I want you. And we'll have an offer in the works for you, basically. <laughs> or at least that's what I expected. Because he was, like, really, really positive about me, which was nice. And so, oh, no, cryo, don't die. Um, but, uh... Yeah, and that was really exciting. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I have two offers in the works. I've got to decide between two companies. <laughs> this is me trying to shoot grenades, but they won't explode for the next four seconds. <laughs> so I go back to work at my current position this Monday, and uh, things were going as normal, I guess. It was just a normal Monday. And then I get an email, and it's like, hey, we want to offer you this job. And... It, I was like super excited and I couldn't show my excitement yet because the people at work don't know I've been looking for another job and so that was a little awkward um, but uh, <laughs> let's see can I what is it? I don't understand what was he doing <laughs> he comes up to me and is like hey swipe swipe I'm playing with you and then runs past me I don't know if he was trying to troll me or what um, but uh, so oh round winning kill that's right so I tell my wife, like, oh my god, I just got a, an offer in, in my email, and you know, it's in my inbox, and I forwarded the message to her, and she's like squealing excited and everything, and I was pretty much squealing excited, but couldn't show it. <laughs> I was like really nervous, super jittery, really excited, um, and then I got, I mean, like maybe 30 minutes later, I got another offer in my inbox, and I was just like, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> so... I was uh, I was really really nervous then, and I just I didn't know what to do. You know, like what's what's a guy to do? I had no idea you could dive through windows like that. Um, I yeah, it's a really tough decision. You know, you got two jobs that really want you. Um, you feel like you're probably a good fit for both of them, uh, but you're just not sure what to do. Oh, hit marker. Um, well, so I had a lot and a lot, a lot of thinking to do, and uh, it wound up weighing the pros and cons that the Fort Worth job had a lot more pros uh, than the the uh, Dallas job. Now, it wasn't that the Dallas job wasn't something I wanted to do because I totally did. I totally wanted that, but I I don't know. I just it just was not as much of like it wasn't as good as the other one, basically. So. I had to call the guy and tell him I couldn't take the job, which was so painful. That was like one of the hardest conversations I've ever had to have. It hurt so much just to be like, I'm really sorry, dude. I really want to work with you, but I got another job or another offer for another job, and I think I'm going to have to take that one. And that, it just pained me to have to say that. Ah, well, so I'll have more details coming soon, but that's the big news. I'm moving to Fort Worth. <laughs> it's going to start like heavy packing time we got all sorts of diesel details we got to work out with the uh moving and just getting out of our current apartment and all that mess but <laughs> anyway guys i hope you like the news um and i hope you enjoyed the gameplay i enjoyed charlin the guys um yeah that's what's up <laughs> it's been metatronics guys i'll see you next time now, uh, after that, I give her whole body and head area just an outline. That's what it's missing right now, is just a little bit of black border around it so that uh, it looks just like the cartoon.